A lot of women spend lots of time and hundreds of dollars on their hair. And even then, there's a chance that something could go wrong. Tonight in a 16 WAPT special report, we reveal the hidden dangers of hair weave. It's dyed, tied, or laid to the side, but is it natural? Some celebrities are coming clean, admitting they bought it. Women from Hollywood all the way to Jackson, Mississippi, are adding weaves or extensions. It adds glam. It adds the extra oomph. I've never had a woman not love them. It's the beauty. It's, it's total enhancement. I think they have changed my life <laughs> and my hair. Julie Skipper is a lawyer and Latricia Brown works in health care. Both wear weaves or extensions, but they haven't had the same results. It's a chance to play a little bit. Uh, my own hair is a different color than my extensions. And so every six or eight months, if I feel like playing around, I can change color. And then the damage, there, it's not damaging my own hair. Brown says she had to cut most of her hair after one treatment. My sides was thinning and my... Um, See, with my hair, I had, you know, I had good hair, like, it was full and thick. It was thinning out. Some parts were short and some parts was long. And she's not the only one in her family who's had weave woes. These are pictures of damage to her sister's hair from years of wearing extensions. Her hair is damaged, like, very bad. Like, mm. is she to the point where she's embarrassed? Like now, she have no other choice but to wear weave in her hair because it's so damaged really bad. Dr. Timothy Quinn sent us these pictures of his patients who have traction alopecia due to the stylist installing the hair extensions too tightly. Stylists we talk to say the danger comes in with how the extensions are installed, the treatment of the hair, and how they're removed. Some situations we have to send to a physician. Yeah, they have to seek medical attention. Shante Lewis is a weaveologist, and she owns Celebrity Hair Designs. They specialize in bonding, sew-ins, and infusions. It can take several hours to put in and cost you up to $500. The weaving techniques that we use are protective styles. We have products that will protect the hair from any invasive um, Product. That's Justin McPherson, and he's part owner of the William Wallace Salon. He specializes in bonded extensions that'll run you from $400 to $1,000. That'll have you in his chair for more than four hours. There have been a few cases where you see someone who's had them braided in too tightly or they've had the extension put too closely to the scalp, and that will cause, like, scalp irritation and cause, you know, hair loss. The term is traction alopecia. And as I said earlier, it's a condition caused by the hair being pulled too tightly during the installation technique where the actual follicles are damaged and that person can have long-term hair loss. The old saying, you know, you get what you pay for reigns true with extensions too. You know, there are tons of stylists in town that will put them in for almost nothing and you know you always run the risk of not knowing what what products they're using experts say there's nothing to worry about if your stylist puts in and removes the extensions properly okay so doctors yeah. say the hair loss may or may not be oh treatable contact your dermatologist for help yeah, yeah, I told you, I would love to have long, extra hair like that. But I think what I learned from watching this is this is something that you should not take lightly. Right. And it's like Justin, uh, the stylist, said, you definitely get what you pay for when it exactly. comes to extensions. That brings us to our non-scientific Instapoll. We asked, has your hair been damaged by weaves or extensions? And so far, wow, that switched up from 6 o'clock. Yeah. Most of you say yes at 53%. Well, join the conversation at 601-980-4416. Hit one for yes and two for no. And you can also vote on our WAPT News app.